Child, get you some popcorn, cause this one about to be good. We about to be pulling some cards today. <laughs> Y'all, I started too early today. Ooh. I ain't gonna like what I gotta say today. If the coffee is black, drink it. That didn't even make no sense. That didn't even make no sense. Okay, hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to Wine Wednesday. Welcome back to Faith and Inspiration Talk. And most importantly, welcome back to another freaking video. Y'all, listen. Let me tell y'all something, baby. Growing the channel is difficult. It's hard. But you know what? I'm going to keep at it. I'm going to keep, you know, putting the content out there. And hopefully... The people who support me, support me. Because you know what? The people I know, yikes. The support has not been real. But you know what? It's okay. It's okay because I'm going to keep going, baby. I'm going to keep going. What God has for me is for me. It be the strangers. Hey, strangers. What's up? I love y'all. Love me. Okay? Period. That part. Okay, guys. So, as you can tell by the title of this video, we finna piss some people off by talking about their toxic behaviors. Okay. Period. And ask me, do I care? Do you care? Hell no, I don't care. Guys. I do not care. And you know what? Some of this stuff, I'm gonna be honest, because I was doing some of it too before. But you know what? I've been delivered. As I... Y'all, listen to me when I tell you that God is good, okay? He has been working on me, period. He has been working on me. But before we get into this video, y'all, we not even finna make this intro longer than it needs to be. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button, become a part of this family, because cousins, we are it. 2020. It's us. Just us, baby, period. It don't matter. Like this video, share this video, leave me some comments down below so we can keep in touch, you know, amigos period and last but not least follow me on all my social media because i'm back on social media and that's where i love to talk to people i've been talking to a lot of my subscribers on instagram which the ones who have been reaching out to me thank you y'all loyal i rock with y'all because y'all really rock with me even though it's not many of y'all right now i still love y'all that part so let's just get into this video okay y'all so it's finna get real hot in here mm. oh crap so today, y'all, we talking toxic friendships, okay? Not your, like, intimate romantic relationships. Oh, trust me, baby, that video won't come too, okay? But today, we talking about your friendships, your your amigas, your compadres, you feel me? Your yin and yangs, your go-to ride or dies, like, whatever y'all want to call them, your friends. We pulling out all the toxic behaviors today, okay? I got seven. As y'all know, seven is the lucky number on this channel. Okay, seven million. Okay, I need strength. Lord, will it, Lord? Will it, Lord? Thank you. So we finna go through these seven ways to tell if you got some toxic friends in your life. And if you do, honey, get rid of them! Get rid of them! Get rid of them. Period. Let's just lay it all out on tape so number one you are always the one that's doing the reaching out why is it that i always gotta call you facetime you text you first all the time but you don't ever just text me to say um friend are you okay friend are you okay I have been that friend before. So if we're going to be honest all across this video, let's be honest. I have been that friend before. And sometimes when I get into like a certain mood, I still am that friend. But my friends know that about me enough to know that if I retreat, they text me like, yo, what's wrong? And then I'm able to let them know what's good with me, blah, blah, blah. But I do reach out to my friends often now. And I love them because you have to realize toxic behaviors about yourself. And if we're going to call the kettle black, then we can't be the pot. Period. So if you are always reaching out and they ain't never reaching out to you. I ain't saying your friend's toxic, but they might be. They might be. They might be. Number two. They don't celebrate your successes. And somehow are always jealous 
of the good things that happen in your life that you accomplish that happen to you mm, baby i done had a few of those and i'm seeing it more and more now with this youtube channel y'all because people people nowadays don't want to see you win and it's just like why you don't want to see me win when you could be winning too when if i get on you get on you get on i get on i'm gonna support you you support me so y'all tell me something why is it that people can't just support you because their time is coming your season is your season their season is their season and god has one for everybody why don't we just learn to celebrate the season that we're in and be good friends to one another Point in case, I have this judge. I work for a judge. If y'all don't know, I'm a legal assistant in real, my real life, okay? My everyday off camera life. Um, I am this crazy all the time, but I am a legal assistant in my day, my daytime full-time job. So I have this judge who her friend um, was an attorney for so long and, you know, been trying to get a judgeship for 10 years years y'all 10 years she's been trying to become a judge never became a judge never became a judge but this year she finally got appointed by the governor to become a judge when i tell y'all the judge that i work for was so happy for her friend like jumping up and down screaming at the top of her lungs like she was so happy for her friend some people get jealous when it's like oh i've I been here first or how you get here now Did, who cares? That's your friend. Be happy for them. Period. That part. Like, I don't understand. Number three. Your friends are always in competition with you. You get a boyfriend, they get a boyfriend. You get a girlfriend, they get a girlfriend. You get new clothes, they get new clothes. You get a new job, they get a new job. Like, like sis, sis, we, we don't, don't have, have, to, have compete. to compete. You know that, you know that right? right? Like, if you my friend, you good. Period. We can stop the foolishness now. We, we can stop because, baby, I'm tired. I don't want to be in competition with you. I'm tired. I'm just tired. We don't got to even do this. Period. I had this friend in high school, y'all. We're going to call this friend Jill. Okay? Hey, Jill. So, Jill was one of those people who just always wanted to be in competition with me it was just like i dyed my hair she dyed her hair i joined dance she joined dance started wearing bright colors back in the day y'all <laughs> baby that trend was terrible but i started doing that she started doing it started wearing air apostle she started wearing air apostle mind y'all i'm talking about high school so don't judge me okay <laughs> And it was just like, my mom was telling me back then, like, your this friend is not a good friend. She always want to do what you do. She want to be in your shoes. She want to, like, one-up you every single time. Like, and I wasn't listening to my mom. But shout out to you, mom, because you was right. Now that person is just not even my friend at all in life. So it's just like, you know what? It'd be like that. It'd be like that. And listen to y'all mamas, because my mama been knowing for real. Number four. Your friends always know some tea. They always know some drama. Like, they always just want to tell you about everybody else mix. Mm. Now, like I said, we're going to be honest. We're going to be honest and transparent all 2020, okay? I was that person back in my day. That's why I say a lot of people who think they know me do not know me, baby. If you weren't in close proximity with me in 2018 and on, you don't know me because I'm a different person. Probably even before 2018, to be honest. You don't you don't know me, period, okay? I was that type of person who was like, ooh, sis, did you hear? Ooh, girl, did you know? Mmm, girl. <laughs> Let me tell you. I was that friend. And I had some friends who was that type of friend. But the friends who continued to grow into our adulthood stopped that BS for one, including me. Uh -uh. Cut it out. We ain't doing it. Period. Or two, grew out of my life because I was tired of hearing it. I don't need to know the drama. I don't need to know the latest tea. I don't need to know who messing with who. I don't need to know who cheated on who. I don't need to know um, who did what. I don't care, baby. Are you bringing me some money or no? Get rid of those people who just always just want to be in the drama. Just got to know something. Just got to say something. Like, ugh, just go away, fly. 
Like, go away. Like, the door. The door, baby. You gots to go. You gots to go because I can't take it no more. Number five. You feel like you have to alter yourself or like, you know, censor yourself when you're around them. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can't be yourself. That's a clear tell all sign that your friendships are toxic because it's like you can't even be yourself around them without thinking what are they thinking if i do this what are they thinking if i say this what are they are they going to say something when i leave here like if you got to do all of that they're not good for you they are not they are not not good for you okay toxic behavior get rid of it like we don't need that we are in the season where we can embrace who we are and be okay with that and you know what don't get me wrong i'm not even going to be the person to say we don't need friends because we do need people like we were created to want other companionship and like people to confide in and things like that so let me not even feed y'all that bs like you don't even need no friends anyway because you do and it's important but you know what quality over quantity any day in my life i've been through a period of time where i had no friends zero friends and it was just like okay god all right i see what you're doing spring cleaning like sweet sweet baby got to go i get it you know what i'm saying but if you feel like you can't even be yourself in 2020 around some folks Mm -mm. gotta go your friendships are toxic let it go get you some new friends dm me let's be friends okay because you don't need it you don't need it in this season number six you feel like you can't trust them now if you go to your friend and some confidence and you feel like that friend is going to if you know what let me put this plain and simple if you feel like you go to your friend with some doubt that what you're telling them might get out toxic okay toxic let it go you don't need it like friends friends keep friends secrets friends tell friends the real about themselves friends listen friends listen to hear and not just respond friends give good advice friends care for you and have your best interests at heart but if you feel like you can't even go to your friend without thinking your friend got your back and is just going to keep their mouth closed, drink their water, and mind their business, they're not your friend. That's toxic. Let them go. It's 2020, baby. Oh, shoot. <laughs> it's 2020, baby. We don't got time. Okay? We don't got time to be spilling wine either. Not on my carpet. <laughs> And last but not least, number seven, you feel like you're giving more than you are receiving. Now, don't get me wrong when I say this because giving is great. It's amazing. And I am a giver as well. I like to make people happy. I like to see smiles on people's faces and things like that. But pause, like if y'all had a nasty thought, you're nasty. You're nasty. You're nasty. Okay. What I mean is like you're giving more energy. You're giving more loyalty. You're giving more trust. You're giving more time. You are making yourself available. Like if you are doing all those things and not even receiving an ounce of those things back. Toxic. You understand? You understand? Relationships about give and take. Okay? Even your friendships. And if you can't give and receive some things back. That is not your friend, baby. Like, I'm not even, I know I'm animated and I'm dramatic and I'm doing the most, but I'm being serious, y'all. Like, it is time to get you around some good friends, some good people, because what you have in your atmosphere, in your circle, really, really, really determines, like, how your season will go. You have to protect your peace and you have to protect your space in the season. And you have to be willing to just rid some things out of your life that just have no place at the moment. And don't get me wrong, some friends are here for a reason or a season, period. And it might be both, like, a reason, a season, or a lifetime. That's what my mom tells me. And it's like... Right now, I know I got a couple friends that are going to be here for a lifetime, but I got a hell of a lot of friends who are here for a reason or a season, and some have come and gone, but I have to protect my peace and my space in this season because it's important, y'all. Like, you have to make room 
for your growth and your destiny because when God is ready to bless you, you got to have space to receive it. And if you got all this negative energy and this toxic behavior in your area, the Lord going to be like, okay, she's not ready yet. Do you want to pass up your blessings? I don't think so. I know I don't. Hmm. So those are seven ways to see if your friendships are toxic and don't get me wrong, y'all. Just because one of these things are present doesn't mean that all of your friendships are toxic. It just may mean that you have to revisit some of the areas of your friendship. And if it's a real friend, you should be able to be honest with them. If I could tell y'all how many times my friends came to me about something, about my behavior, even if I didn't want to hear it, I appreciate them because they are honest with me. They call me out, they let me know how they feel, and that's the type of friends that you need in your space. The ones that uplift you, the ones who give you advice, the ones you could trust, the ones that call you out on your BS because they just wanna see the best for you. And if you aren't surrounded with those type of people, then baby, it's time to do spring cleaning. The spring is coming up. Oh, it's finna get warm, yeah. Pack up your stuff, baby, because it's time to go, okay? And you know what, y'all? I'm just going to stop rapping, but I hope that you guys like this video. I'm crazy. The wine be having me off one. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next video, I love you guys. Bye.